friends welcome to ng academy our today's agenda is to discuss about alkali and we have got one question very important question to discuss here to understand alkali i have taken the bottle that contains alkali one is sodium hydroxide next is potassium hydroxide and in the alongside figure what we have is beaker containing water these are the two beakers that contain water in it here sodium hydroxide is pour, pour into the beaker containing water as soon as the sodium hydroxide comes in contact with water it forms sodium ion and hydroxide ion let's zoom in you can see here and similarly here potassium hydroxide is poured into the beaker containing water as soon as the potassium hydroxide comes in contact with water it dissociates and forms potassium ion and hydroxide ion so what we have come to understand here is both the alkali when dissolve in water gives hydroxide ion OH minus ion from that figure what we have discovered we have discovered the definition of an alkali alkalis are the basis that gives hydroxide ion when dissolve in water for example sodium hydroxide potassium hydroxide aluminium hydroxide calcium hydroxide in other words alkali can be can also be defined as base that dissolves in water friends we have very important question to discuss all alkalis are bases but all bases are not alkali why so as to understand that question i have taken some bases and alkali bases all the bases are not alkali why because for base to become an alkali it has to fulfill some criteria okay so what criteria is that for cu for bases like cu cuos to copper hydroxide and iron hydroxide feos3 it must dissolve in water and after it dissolve it should dissociate and give oh minus ion but it does not happen in the case of copper hydroxide and iron hydroxide that's why they are not categorized as an alkali okay friends that's why although they are base although they are base but they are not alkali similarly for an alkali to become a base it must satisfy the condition of base let's see whether it satisfy the condition of base or not so as for this alkali to become base so what should be there let's define base metal hydroxide metal hydroxide or uh, metal oxide are called base let's see whether this, this is metal hydroxide or not this is metal hydroxide sodium hydroxide this is also metal, metal hydroxide this is also metal hydroxide calcium hydroxide so these three are metal hydroxide means now all these alkali are base but let's see here ammonium hydroxide although it is not metal hydroxide but it dissolves in water and forms hydroxide ion this ammonium hydroxide satisfies the condition of an alkali that's why it is categorized as an alkali and it is the base okay so base in another word another word we can say that um, the chemical compound which when dissolved in water gives hydroxide ion so this nsoh satisfies the condition of 
base okay friends now what we have discovered is the answer to this question all the alkalis are bases but all the bases are not alkali so this we have discovered you can see here metal oxides and metal hydroxides are called bases bases that gets dissolved in water are called alkali for example sodium hydroxide potassium hydroxide but all the bases does not dissolve in water for example copper hydroxide and iron hydroxide therefore all the alkalis are bases but all the bases are not alkalis i hope you have understood what we have learned today so what we have discussed today so thank you for watching this video and we will meet in our next video till then stay safe stay care